Imagine a world where everyone is betting on electric cars as the ultimate future. Charging stations, massive batteries, zero emissions. This is what the whole industry is running after. Now, picture this. The CEO of Mazda stands up and says, our new rotary engine will shake the entire EV industry. Suddenly, the room goes silent. Hearts skip a beat. Because when you hear rotary engine, you don't just think of a motor. You think of speed, power, and pure driving excitement. But here's the twist. Mazda isn't just bringing back an old legend. They're promising an engine that's more robust, more economical, and more thrilling than many EVs on the market today. One question hangs in the air. Can a compact rotary engine really challenge the giants of the electric vehicle world like Tesla or BYD? And that's exactly what we're diving into today. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on updates about revolutionary car tech like this. When most people think about car engines, the first image that comes to mind is the classic piston engine. Cylinders, pistons moving up and down, generating power. It's the engine we've all grown up with. But back in the 1950s and 60s, a German engineer named Felix Wankel came up with something completely different. A revolutionary engine that didn't use pistons at all. It was called the rotary engine, and Mazda would later make it famous. Mazda didn't just adopt this engine, they transformed it into a legend. In the 1970s and 80s, cars like the RX-7 and later the RX-8 brought the rotary engine to the world stage. Sleek, lightweight, and roaring with a sound that could make any car enthusiast's heart race, these cars didn't just move, they excited. The RX-7 in particular became a cult classic. Its performance, its design, and that unmistakable engine note made people line up at car meets just to hear it roar. So why was the rotary engine so different? First, it was smooth. No jerky piston movements, just a continuous, fluid power delivery. Second, it was compact, packing the punch of a large engine in a small, light package, which made Mazda's sports cars agile and fast. And then there was the sound, a high-pitched, thrilling whine that became a signature, the harpy of Mazda's performance cars. Of course, it wasn't perfect. Early rotary engines were notorious for fuel thirst, maintenance headaches, and emissions problems. As stricter environmental rules came into play, many companies abandoned rotary engines, and Mazda eventually discontinued them after the RX-8. But legends never truly die. Even today, RX-7s still dominate car shows and racing tracks. Fans modify them, turbocharge them, and keep the spirit of the rotary alive. Mazda themselves haven't let it fade. They experimented with it as a range extender in the hybrid MX-30, hinting that this engine still has a future. And now, after decades, the rotary engine is making a comeback. But this isn't the same old engine. Mazda has reimagined it, smarter, sleeker, and ready to challenge the EV world. The Tesla flying car isn't just about speed or affordability. It's a showcase of cutting-edge design and technology. On the outside, Tesla is expected to use a monocoque frame with an aluminum-lithium alloy, similar to the Starship spacecraft. This material is lightweight, heat-resistant, and visually striking, giving the car both durability and a luxurious futuristic look. Instead of traditional propellers, the flying car will feature an electric jet engine inspired by SpaceX technology, optimized for efficient, sustainable flight. Vertical takeoff and landing? That's where Falcon Landing Tech comes in, ensuring smooth, precise liftoffs and landings, even on crowded rooftops or tight urban spaces. Inside, the cockpit is designed for one to two passengers, blending comfort with cutting-edge controls. A 360-degree transparent canopy provides unobstructed views, letting passengers fully immerse themselves in the aerial experience. The layout combines elements of the Cybertruck and Dragon spacecraft, creating a high-tech yet approachable environment. Doors may come in two styles, traditional or gullwing. Traditional doors are simple, practical, and easier to manufacture, making landing in tight urban spots less of a challenge. 
Gullwing doors, on the other hand, add a futuristic flair while maximizing space efficiency during vertical landings. Tesla has already mastered Gullwing doors with the Model X, so integrating sensors to prevent collisions would make them a smart choice for city flying. The cockpit itself is minimalistic and intuitive, with a large touchscreen providing haptic feedback, replacing conventional buttons. Flight dynamics, navigation, and safety systems will be managed by Tesla AI keeping operations simple even for first-time flyers. Carbon fiber materials keep the interior lightweight and sleek, while the seats are designed for maximum comfort, making every journey. Now, imagine the rotary engine you once thought of as a classic relic, small, fast, and loud, reborn for the modern age. Mazda hasn't just dusted off an old design, they've rebuilt it with cutting-edge technology to take on the biggest challenge in the automotive world, electric vehicles. The first major change is its role in a hybrid and range extender system. Unlike traditional engines that directly power the wheels, this rotary engine charges the battery, helping the car travel longer distances without worrying about running out of juice. This cleverly tackles one of the biggest EV weaknesses, range anxiety. Drivers can go further, faster, and with far less stress. Size and weight were never a problem for the rotary, but Mazda has gone even further. The new engine is smaller, lighter and more efficient than ever, using high efficiency fuel injection and modern cooling systems. What used to guzzle fuel now burns less petrol while generating impressive power, solving one of the engine's oldest complaints. And then there's the thrill factor. Smoothness has always been a rotary trademark, and this version keeps that alive. With almost no vibration even at high RPMs, it delivers that adrenaline rush EVs struggle to replicate. Imagine revving a car that responds instantly, sings through the exhaust, and feels alive under your hands. That's the new rotary experience. Mazda also promises fuel flexibility. It can run on petrol, biofuels, or even synthetic fuels, meaning it's prepared for whatever the future of energy brings. Small, powerful, flexible, and thrilling, this engine doesn't just complement modern cars. It reinvents what a car can be. And here's the question hanging over the industry. Can this compact powerhouse really compete with the dominance of electric vehicles? Electric vehicles are everywhere in the news. Governments call them the future. Companies launch new models almost every month, and advertisements promise a cleaner, smarter way to drive. But when you step onto the roads, the reality is a little more complicated. The first major challenge is charging infrastructure. Petrol stations are on every corner. But EV charging stations? Not so much. Big cities may have a few, but in smaller towns or rural areas, finding a charger can feel like a treasure hunt. Imagine being halfway through a long trip and worrying if your car will make it to the next station. That fear alone makes many buyers hesitant. Then there's the battery problem. Batteries aren't just heavy, they're expensive. In fact, they make up about 40% of an electric car's price, and when they degrade over time, replacing them is a huge financial burden. Many people worry, what if the battery fails in a few years? That uncertainty makes EVs feel risky for everyday buyers. Range anxiety is another major concern. Even when EVs claim 400 to 500 kilometers, real-world conditions, traffic, cold weather, or using air conditioning can drain the battery faster. The thought of being stranded in the middle of nowhere keeps many from taking the plunge. Charging time adds to the frustration. Filling a petrol tank takes five minutes. Charging an EV, anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours depending on the charger. Fast chargers exist, but they're limited, expensive, and still far from widespread. Maintenance and repair are also tricky. EV technology is new, and not every mechanic knows how to fix it. A battery or motor problem often means visiting the company's service center, racking up costs and time. On top of that, resale value worries linger. As batteries age, their capacity drops, reducing both range and market price. In short, EVs face challenges on three fronts, infrastructure, costs, and trust. Until these gaps are fully addressed, many buyers hesitate, waiting for a more reliable, convenient option. And that's exactly the window Mazda is aiming for. While EV companies scramble to solve these problems, Mazda's new rotary engine offers a ready-made alternative, combining range, excitement, and reliability in one package. 
The moment Mazda's CEO announced that their new rotary engine could shake the EV world, the global auto industry sat up and took notice. This wasn't just confidence. It was a direct challenge to companies that have dominated the electric car market for years. Take Tesla, for example. Elon Musk turned Tesla into the king of EVs, building an ecosystem of batteries, charging networks, and smart software that seemed untouchable. The new rotary engine doesn't directly compete with Tesla's technology, but it does offer customers a fresh alternative. Imagine a driver thinking, I can skip charging stations and still get long-range performance. Suddenly, Tesla's monopoly feels less certain. Then there's BYD, the Chinese EV powerhouse. Their success comes from producing affordable cars with long-range batteries. But Mazda's promise of a compact, economical, and fun-to-drive rotary engine could directly challenge BYD's low-cost strategy. If Mazda delivers, budget-conscious buyers might choose a rotary-powered car over a battery-heavy EV. Toyota and Honda are in a different position. Toyota has leaned heavily on hybrids and hydrogen tech, while Honda carefully navigates its EV transition. Mazda's move could inspire them to double down on hybrid innovation, keeping traditional engines alive in the new, more efficient form. In other words, Mazda isn't just shaking up EV giants. It's giving established automakers a blueprint for a backup strategy. Even European luxury brands like BMW, Mercedes, and Audi are paying attention. Most of them are betting entirely on EVs, but Mazda's approach highlights a potential market gap. Buyers who want range, affordability, and driving excitement without waiting for widespread charging infrastructure. If Mazda succeeds, German automakers may be forced to rethink their EV-only strategies. In short, Mazda's announcement is more than a statement. It's a wake-up call. For Tesla and BYD, it's a challenge. For Toyota and Honda, an opportunity. And for European automakers, a signal that innovation can come in unexpected forms. While the world rushes toward EVs, Mazda is walking a different path and doing it with confidence. The company openly claims that their new rotary engine isn't just nostalgia. It's a real alternative to electric vehicles. But why is Mazda so sure of itself? First, they've identified the weaknesses of EVs that haven't been fully solved yet. Expensive batteries, incomplete charging infrastructure, and range anxiety. Mazda's rotary engine doesn't try to out-EV the EVs. It sidesteps their problems entirely. Small, economical, and capable of covering long distances, it offers drivers the reliability EVs often can't. Mazda's confidence also stems from its heritage and engineering identity. The rotary engine has always been their signature, proving that Mazda thinks differently. Cars like the RX-7 and RX-8 weren't just vehicles. They were a statement, a promise of innovation and driving pleasure. Now with modern technology enhancing efficiency and power, Mazda believes it can win the hearts of both old fans and new buyers. The strategy is clear. Mazda isn't rushing into the EV race. They know Tesla and BYD are far ahead. Instead, they're taking a smart approach, highlighting their unique strengths and exploiting EV weaknesses. It's a tactical move that makes them stand out while giving customers a compelling reason to consider a rotary-powered alternative. Looking ahead, Mazda is focusing on hybrid and range extender cars, a perfect blend of battery power and rotary engine reliability. They're also aiming for the affordable segment, targeting buyers who want EV benefits without the high price tag. And by preparing the rotary engine for future fuels like biofuel and synthetic options, Mazda is thinking long-term, positioning themselves for the next decade of automotive evolution. Finally, Mazda isn't just selling engines. They're selling identity and experience. Just as Tesla evokes electric innovation, Mazda wants the rotary engine to be synonymous with driving excitement, reliability, and smart engineering. From a customer's perspective, Mazda's new rotary engine offers tangible benefits that go beyond nostalgia or brand loyalty. First, there's price. Electric vehicles are expensive, largely because of their batteries. Mazda's rotary engine, on the other hand, is compact, lightweight, 
and inexpensive to manufacture. That means drivers can get a car that's reliable, fun, and long-range without paying the EV premium. Then comes mileage and convenience. The biggest fear for EV owners is running out of battery mid-journey. With a rotary engine, that worry disappears. Fill up with petrol or biofuel, and you're ready to go for hundreds of kilometers. And thanks to modern improvements, this engine burns fuel efficiently, producing more power with less petrol than older models. Long-term reliability is another big advantage. EV batteries degrade over time and are costly to replace. While the rotary engine does require servicing, the costs are far lower, making it lighter on the wallet over the years. For buyers thinking about total ownership cost, this is a huge plus. But it's not just about practicality. There's also driving excitement. EVs are smooth, but lack the sensory thrill of a live engine. The rotary delivers smooth power, instant response, and a signature sound that makes driving feel like a real adventure. For car enthusiasts, this is as important as any specification. Finally, Mazda has considered the environment. With a modern catalytic converter, clean burning system, and the potential to run on biofuel or synthetic fuel, the engine is far cleaner than older rotary designs. While EVs still have zero tailpipe emissions, their batteries involve significant environmental costs. Mazda's rotary offers a balanced solution, performance, affordability, and improved sustainability. With all these factors combined, price, convenience, fun, and environmental considerations, it's clear why Mazda believes the rotary engine could win back attention from drivers who might otherwise choose an EV. When the world talks about green energy, EVs often take center stage. But Mazda's new rotary engine is challenging that narrative, showing that a combustion engine can also be cleaner and smarter than ever. The first step is emissions control. Mazda has equipped the rotary with an advanced catalytic converter and a clean burning system, significantly reducing smoke and pollutants compared to older versions. This means drivers get the thrill of a rotary engine without the heavy environmental cost it once carried. Next is fuel flexibility. The engine isn't limited to petrol. It can run on biofuels or synthetic fuels. This positions it perfectly for the future of energy allowing it to adapt as new, greener fuels become widely available. In a world where battery production for EVs often involves environmentally damaging mining, Mazda is offering a solution that is lighter on natural resources. Of course, it's important to be realistic. The rotary engine still burns fuel, so carbon emissions aren't completely eliminated. EVs maintain their edge with zero tailpipe emissions. However, Considering the environmental cost of EV batteries, from mining lithium and cobalt to eventual disposal, the rotary engine starts to look surprisingly competitive in terms of overall sustainability. Mazda is essentially offering a balanced approach, an engine that is efficient, adaptable, and significantly cleaner than older combustion engines, while still delivering the excitement and reliability that EVs can't replicate. The big question remains, with environmental concerns, affordability, and driving pleasure all in play, can the rotary engine really lure drivers away from the growing EV market? So what does the future hold? On one hand, we have electric vehicles hailed as the ultimate solution for clean, modern driving. On the other hand, Mazda is quietly betting on a reinvented rotary engine, promising excitement, efficiency, and affordability all in one compact package. Will the rotary engine truly shake the EV industry? Can a small, hybrid-powered, high-performance engine really pull attention away from giants like Tesla or BYD? Or will the EV revolution continue to dominate as infrastructure improves and batteries get cheaper? The truth is, only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The automotive world is no longer a one-way street. Choices are expanding, technology is evolving, and the thrill of driving may soon make a surprising comeback alongside cleaner, smarter engineering. Now, it's your turn. What do you think the future holds? Will EVs continue their unstoppable rise? Or will Mazda's rotary engine carve a new path for drivers everywhere? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you're the first to catch updates on the next big moves in the world of cars.